Hi, this morning we're going to look at Kathy and how she renews her insurance for her parents. Kathy is one of our common personas. She has dependent parents who live in another state. She pays for their long-term medical insurance every year. And she's a digital native, though her parents are not. What she's trying to achieve here is not only paying for the insurance, but also setting up an auto pay, registering the power of attorney so she has the ability to do that, and then transferring the communications over to herself so that she can manage them. So what we're gonna to do today is just quickly look at that particular journey. And what you see here is the blue line indicating when things are going well, things are green, not as well yellow and poorly in red. And the size of that impact is also indicated by the size of the bundle. We also are gonna look at scores. Each touch has the ability to measure customer experience, customer effort, satisfaction, and net promoter score, should that be calculated. And then the final two rows are some needs that you might have as well as voice of the customer. So let's drill in here a little bit. So as we start this process, Kathy is chatting with her mother and she mentions that she has to make an appointment to the insurance agent to collect the renewal check and give forms around power of attorney and uh, some additional information. Kathy says, ha, huh, I can take care of that for you. Don't worry about it. I'll just pull up an email that I think I've gotten and I'll go ahead and take care of that. Don't worry about it. So Kathy digs around a little bit here, looks through her email and finds out that, nope, there is no email here. So she says, well, rather than bothering her mom again, she'll just go ahead and go to the portal and find out the information so that she can just pay it online. So great, there is a payment portal. She loves the web, this is really cool. So she finds out, looks on the portal, yeah, great, there's not the information that she needs nor the forms that she needs. So she goes ahead, she doesn't see the information, so she calls customer service and is greeted by the dreaded IVR. Eh, the IVR asks her a number of questions. She goes through the entire tree and she finally gets to an auto pay prompt. Yay, that's gonna work. Well, not so much. She attempts to go through. She looks at the interaction. She talks to the rep and she finds out, interestingly enough, that the rep asks for all the same details she actually had to put into the IVR and she starts getting a little bit unfrustrated. So why don't they have the technology? It's 2020, she thinks. So she asks first to set up automatic payments, then to register a power of attorney, and the agent can't go ahead and do that, right? So sadly, the agent isn't uh, uh, authorized to be able to take either payments from someone who comes from a different account or in and she also doesn't have the information nor the forms to be able to uh, take care of that process. So now Kathy's getting a little irritated, right? So she goes through here and even though the agent's able to email her the forms, uh, she's now having to manually do the forms and then send them by mail. So she goes through that effort here. And as we see, this is yet another pain point in a moment of truth. She goes ahead and mails that information in and gosh, she waits. She realizes that two weeks have gone by and she has heard nothing from the insurance company, right? So she's sitting and she's waiting for acknowledgement. She's getting a little more angry her motion is definitely hot. The customer effort score is getting higher and higher and she's getting unhappier and unhappier as she goes through. She goes to check to see if the check is cleared because she's very concerned at this point whether or not they'll have a lapse in coverage. And as she goes through it, she also tries to call again. And after some more uh, steps in the IVR, uh, she follows up again, it takes her a couple of times now, 
she finally validates that the coverage is in force. They have all their paperwork. And she thinks, wow, insurance companies are in the dark ages. Or maybe it's this one that is. She puts a note down to see if any of them aren't dinosaurs and she might make a change. So if you look at the scores here, the customer effort score is 64 of 99, which is very high. There's a lot of effort going on here. And satisfaction, quite low. And in the two options that she got to give a net promoter score, that was also quite low. So as we look down here, we see some of the things that might have helped. First of all, if she had a reminder on email and a text message, great, she would have been able to handle that without any interference. She also would look much better at if she had a detailed bill breakout along with the reminder messages that showed her exactly what they were getting. In an email or even on a paper document, a payment link that uh, had reminder messages would have been very helpful and getting an understanding of how they calculated the amount, because remember she's price conscious, helps her look at that. As she gets onto the payment port portal, having uh, details on that portal about the billing, about payment options and forms that she could access would have been really helpful. And then, gosh, making the IVR actually work for a payment. Now, granted, she had a different situation here because she wasn't the uh, owner of the account, but that should have more quickly gotten her to an agent who could have actually helped her. So that's next. Having a pay link uh, would have been great. But having the rep actually be able to take care of that and send a confirmation uh, as soon as it was uh, received would have been very helpful. They got new, no new policy kit, so that was another failing. Having that information would have made the experience uh, closed loop and more helpful. And then finally, uh, having a relationship call to explain some changes in policy features and some of the added benefits that they might not have noticed because she's getting pretty aggravated here would have been a much better end to the overall journey. So as you see here, there's a lot of detail that's going on in a relatively short period of time. And Kathy needs quite a bit of reassurance here not to change uh, and the company has a lot of work to do.